I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? All right, so we're back over here with Anthony. This is his room. Don't mind the light. Let's get the hi hats in here, nice and not good for video, but it's good for in general. But this is the room we were talking about, guys. As you can see, we, oh look at that. Look at that guy. Anyway, so what we say? We said this is approximately 13, 14 feet across, right? Right. And about 25 feet down? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you keep it at, where we at? 62% humidity and 77 degrees? Yep. Nice. So I actually, you actually yelled at me when you dropped off the racks today. You told me it was too right. hot in there, remember? Right. But all right. So how do you have this arranged? Like, how do you keep your, your snake room arranged? I usually keep, you know, all my adults and sub adults in the ARS 50s. Um, never had a problem with them. I have some seventies there too. Oh, so these are the old ARS fifties, but you have them in what type of racks are these? These are ARS, uh, ammo plastic racks. Okay. So now you're going to be selling these, you said? I'm going to be getting rid of them. Yeah. Because we're going all metal in this room. Okay. So you get all what? Freedom Breeder ARS? Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you going to list them or what? Gonna post them, yeah. All right, so if you're interested, hit Anthony up on Instagram, or you're gonna post them on Instagram mm -hmm. uh, to pick up pretty much all these racks. You're keeping the tubs, I assume, or the tubs no, too? Tubs going too. Okay, guys, so if you're interested in any of these systems, hit Anthony up, he's gonna be switching over. So these are all like your adults or like some adults over here, right? Right. Now I know you got over here, you, well, over here, you got your big old fire boa. Okay, you got some babies over here. You got some hatchlings over here. These are more your, your 50, 40 tubs? Yeah. Okay. And then over here, you have what, you, some of these big girls, 70s. right? Another, so yeah. you just have two rows of the seventies for the bigger girls. Another fire bow up there. All right. So what did you make this year? Uh, this year I made pretty much all of these babies. I'm gonna have to. So how many hatchlings did you produce last year? <clears throat> I produced exactly four hundred and one. Four hundred and one. How many are you gonna hold back? Um, I probably held back. I want to say close to a hundred. Did you, your, for your collection? Yeah. No shit. Show. show. I pretty much produce well, what I want. So and then I sell. What I, you know. So you're at the level now where it's kind of like you're making what you'd want anyway and you're right. holding it back to grow up. All right, right. Well, let's, let's see them. People um, want to see snakes. I mean, I, a lot of people know me for like puzzle stuff. I sold a ton of puzzles last year. Um, I bought a couple of things. This is a DG Black Pastel. This one you just showed me you just picked up, right? I just picked this Desert one Desert Ghost Black Pastel. Where'd you get this guy from? Um, I got him from Fireball. Oh, 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 yeah. He has all he has all the stuff. So let's see some puzzle stuff. Some puzzle stuff. This is what you're you're really uh, known for, right? Got a yellow belly puzzle over here. Now you said this might be the only one in the world. I don't. I haven't seen. I mean, I've seen somebody else with a that. yellow belly puzzle, but I believe it had pastel in it. I don't know if I've seen just any regular. That is a gorgeous. This is a male or female? This is a female. It's for sale. Nope. You sure? <laughs> that is awesome, dude. You produce that? I produce that. Yeah. That is awesome. What does she weigh right now? Three hundred grams. Give or take. Mm, yeah. How old is she? She's about um, probably like six, seven months. No shit. What else we got? Um, we got some. Let's show off some of your favorite ones. Uh, this is probably one of my favorites, Enchi Batman. That is amazing. That's a male. Uh, that's a male. You yeah. produce this one also. I produce that one as well. What do you guys think? Nice Enchi Batman. We got some, uh, I got another, you know, super pastel puzzle. This is the mail you showed me before, right? Super yeah. pastel puzzle. Let's just go through some of these tops. Super pastel puzzle. Let's go through all the stuff pastel you made. Pastel puzzle. I got a confusion pastel pet puzzle. Male or female? The male. male. That's a confusion. How do you think, how do you think confusion and puzzle is going to be? So I know over here you have what? Uh, a confusion that you're going to put to a puzzle? Um, no, well, I'm, I'm going to put him to a couple female puzzles. Okay. Get some visual confusion puzzles, hopefully. All right, awesome. Um, not this year. That would be next year when he's uh, up to size. Um, let's see. I got this uh, red stripe, leopard, firefly, hurricane, head clown. Jesus, that's a male, right? It's a male. You made that? I didn't. I purchased this. Who'd you get that from? Um, Seth. So that's, again, that, what is that? You said a red stripe, red stripe, leopard, firefly. Hurricane, Hurricane head clown. clown? Jesus. Got this spot nose, yellow belly clown, female. Awesome. Now this, you produced that or no? Um, that one I also purchased from okay. the State Threat Files. What is it? You got a puzzle right here? It's another female puzzle, yeah. Uh, oh, this is just a normal puzzle? Yep. How much you want for her? <laughs> <laughs> I um, love puzzles, man. I produced man. a bunch of these this year. I sold a bunch of them. I kept one female. What we got right here? Highway Pie Bowl. Highway Pie. Well, we definitely want, I, I definitely want to check out your... Actually, let's segue right into that right now. Now, you were telling me before your bloodline... Of freeways. Of freeways. Right. Sorry, so not highways. Freeways is a little bit different than most. Yeah, so I, tell that backstory. You actually... I purchased a freeway off a guy. Guy tells me, uh, 
75 grand. This is back in 20, I want to say 15. And he was in Europe, you said, right? Yeah. Sends me, sent, told me, bank, wired him five grand. He'll send me this picture of a snake. He said it was a freeway. What do I do? I wire him five grand. Not knowing you're, about you're, anything. You're very him. trusting him. No references, nothing. Didn't hear back from him. I'm like, okay, I just lost five grand. Bank wire, I can't do anything about it. Two weeks later, I get this package in the mail. I open it up and it's a freeway. Um, but it looks dark. I don't have it anymore. I did sell it since. But these, but are, these are his babies. This is the lineage from it. I bred it to a couple of yellow bellies. And I mean, all, most of them came out very dark. This is a pastel freeway. You want to take him out? So this is the pastel, your bloodline of pastel freeway. Look at this thing, guys. That does not look like... The camera's picking it up decently well, but it's very dark looking, guys. Really cool looking animal. Now you have one over here also, right? Yeah, I have one on the other so, side. So what do you think it is? Do you, do you think it's just a different bloodline from Europe and it's just... I feel it is. I mean... Oh, look, look, look right here, guys. That doesn't say exactly what he feels about it. <laughs> so this is the other now. It only has, almost has like right here. Oh, he wants, looks like he wants to party, huh? Why don't you grab him out? Let's take a look at him. So now this is the same bloodline from your original one you got from Europe? Right. And, and you just think what? It's a slightly different? I don't know. Everybody thinks they're supers, but they really aren't supers. I've sold a bunch of them this year, and everyone thinks that they're getting a great deal because they got it. They, they got me for a super, but I'm completely honest with everybody, and I tell them, "Yeah, this is just freeways." I even have a mail over here that I can show. The construction light in the way. Actually, this is a nice area. This is like this is like the ultimate man cave in here. Wow, look at that. So he's really dark. Yeah, he's without the pastel. Oh, so, so this is your bloodline without the pastel. Right. The two we just showed off had the pastel in it, correct? Right. Let's give me the light right here. Look at that thing. So this is a freeway from that bloodline, correct? Freeway, yeah. That is amazing. Oh, look at that logo, guys. That is absolutely amazing, bro. All right. And I still use Aspen. In case yeah, so let's talk about that. I, I asked that before. <laughs> why, why do you, you use Aspen op opposed to Coco? I still use Aspen because when I was using Coco with these racks, I was getting... A lot of issues with respiratories because it was staying even if i would dry it out it was staying very wet it's very humid it was very humid down here um so i had to switch back to aspen and you know if it ain't fixed don't you know if it ain't broke don't fix it's working mentality. it works for me um maybe when i switched everything back to metal and they're not as enclosed as these are i'll go back to coco so with more then, airflow you know, just gotcha. to see if it works better Right, so um, what, what else do you want to show? This is your time to shine, baby. All right, so... Your yeah. time to shine. Show me that boy. Yeah, I like That's this guy. This one, this is a red stripe, yellow belly, spot nose clown. Red stripe, yellow belly, spot nose clown. Look at that animal, guys. That is, so this is, the, this is a male, right? Male. Where'd you get this guy from? Um, Got him from Morphs... Uh, get his name. His, his Fair name. enough. That is absolutely me. What's your plan for him? Um, he's going to go to... Couple of clowns, fire clowns. Is he being bred this year or no? Next year. Okay. The twenty twenty. Um, I see a lot of fifty percent het monsoon stuff you got going okay, on. Okay, so here. back like maybe four years ago, I bought a uh, het monsoon from Dave Green. So were these all females you're growing up? Um, and yeah, I just bred them to a bunch of things and. Awesome. So you can have some monsoon soon. Is that <laughs> you telling me? Yeah, I bred them to a bunch of things and they laid, and uh, I just held back all the females. I even awesome. look crazy, and then you know what? I have a couple of uh, males. That now, is it true? Is it true? The sorry, to interrupt you. Is it true the monsoon hets are very Visual. easy to tell? Right. So I can show you one right here. Yeah, this let's is check a yellow it out. belly, fifty percent monsoon. Okay. You can easily tell it. So is, how do you know it's monsoon? Let, let's talk about this because look at that. Does that look like a yellow belly, regular yellow belly? Well, Anthony, I have no idea what I'm doing. So <laughs> that so, looks definitely something so, going on with it. So they're just more enhanced. More enhanced, they have that visual. I think, I believe they call them fractals. Fractal, correct? Yeah, the monster fractal. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so I forgot about these guys. What you got over here? Over here, I have a besides, besides the, the creeper right there. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see what I have over here. Um, I have a black pastel clown female, I have a couple of yellow boy clowns. I have these are all whole backs from your, what you made this year, yeah. So do you, do you plan on rearranging this at all? Because I know you were talking before, you want to put these all on wheels and kind of push them over into the corner. I'm going to put these three, I'm going to keep the baby racks. Okay. I'm going to push those three on this side. These are the exact racks I got from you, right? Right, yeah. These are all going to be metal, so I'm going to have four metal racks over here, 5540s, two over here, another one here, a 55, a 5040 right here, and I'm, I'll be satisfied. <laughs> I bet. So I'll, let's talk about your, uh, your stranger over there. 
so this is the stranger uh, last year um, he's a stranger pastel lesser head clown but he's also had hypo um, he's been a breeding machine for me so you're, you've been breeding him this year oh yeah he's been breeding this year so he is a he is a pastel lesser head clown but he's got stranger he's a stranger pastel lesser head clown head hypo that is awesome very similar to the one Joe has. And he eats he eats and breeds. So every week he eats and... So I'm assuming you've paired him to a bunch of uh, clowns. Yeah, I put him to fire clowns. I put him to yellow belly clowns. I put him to... Uh, so how many stranger clown clutches are you expecting this year? I'm expecting five. Five? Five. Good for you. Any monsoon clutches? Um, One female is going to go for me. Out of probably like... Because they're all 2019s. Okay. So a lot of them weren't ready yet. I don't want to push it. Only one or two... Got the size. Okay. I paired them. One's going to go. One's not. So hopefully she proves out. I think she will. And I get awesome. at least one monsoon. Uh, that, would, that, would, that would be the goal. <laughs> so what is your most anticipated clutch right now? Where's the girl at? It has to be all stranger stuff. Like I'm so stuff we just some, spoke about? Yeah, I'm hoping some stranger. And I bred it to stuff like this. Like a lot of my clowns are gigantic. Yeah. These are some big. These are 70 series tubs, guys. They make them look like 5540s, man. It's, it's unbelievable how big some of these clown girls are. One of my clowns are 2013, like when I first started, 2014s. I even have like this girl I purchased. That's a yellow belly pied house. Man. They got me 3,000 grams each. Now you have some sunset stuff also, right? Yeah. Let's check that out. I have a sunset and she banana female. This girl's unfortunately in shed, right? Yeah, she's in shed. She little, she's a little feisty. She's feisty? That's all right. But that me. is a banana and she's sunset. She'll be ready to go this you year. You can see, definitely see the sunset. Really good looking animal. What other sunsets do you have? I also have a uh, cinnamon sunset male. He's on the other side. Now, did he breed to that girl or no? I bred him to, this year I bred him to um, Clown, Piebald, and Desert Ghost. Oh, she's so making some nice hats. So just doing double hats with him. Now you were saying you actually want to breed the, the cinnamon out of him? Right. So I'll be probably keeping anything that doesn't have cinnamon. That is awesome. The, that, the head looks awesome, though. But I see you're saying it definitely does brown out the sunset, right? Yeah, it browns it out. And then you don't want, especially with pied, you don't want cinnamon with pied. It's Correct. Too, yeah, I hear you. Not enough uh, pattern. So which is your favorite clown that you have? My favorite clown. It's got to be that red stripe spot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, all right, what's your favorite pie that you got, then? Pie, uh... These are not stumpers, Anthony. Hmm. I guess when you have 300 snakes, a little more difficult, sure. huh? Probably like the yellow belly pies. I mean, they're just still so nice, you know? Um, you're, you're like me. It's like, I like this for this reason. I like that for that reason. I yeah, like this. One. I hear you. Great. I mean, I have orange dream pie balls, but... Yeah, let's see some... Be, let's let's see some... Let's start opening some tubs up here, if you don't mind. Sure. Dreamsicle. That's all. Yeah, pastel desert ghost girl. So you have a lot of girls growing up. I noticed that. Right. So, so what, what is your, your, your tactic here when it comes to like your snakes? So I want to produce very high end, well, high colored clowns. Like I keep pets back every now and then, you know, like that's an orange dream, leopard lesser head clown, you know? Okay. And then I'll breed her up. Like I bred a, that one, I bred an orange dream, yellow belly clown to her. And you know, even those are, by, in and by itself, orange dream, yellow belly clown is still, it's a very beautiful yeah, snake. Yeah, no, it's an amazing looking animal. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I agree. Orange Dream and Yellow Belly, man. They and go I together, feel bro. Tri Trap is very underrated, so I, I threw that into a ton of cold down stuff. You know, this male I've had for a while, both directly from TSK. Yeah, 2010, huh? Yeah. I mean, he was already a uh, breeder size. Yeah, you don't see a lot size. of Tri Stock, huh? You don't see a lot of it, and I know a couple of people are trying to bring it back from the dead, you know? I hear you. What, what's this Krypton thing down there? This I got from Bob Boo. So what is Krypton? I keep seeing it. I know nothing about Krypton. Krypton is... It's supposed to be a lilac with clown. It's a spider, desert ghost, krypton. So a krypton is me just means it's het clown and het het cryptic. Okay. So you breed this to a clown and technically you're supposed to get all cryptics and clowns. Okay, so you go either way essentially. Right. Oh awesome. With a krypton. Awesome, awesome. Um, and it's also yeah, so I bred it to a couple clowns. Got a lot of stuff here, man. Well, how come this one's got a freak on it too? Mahogany. Mojave. I just, it just came out different than any other Mojave mahogany I ever had. Awesome.
You got a lot of stuff in here. We can go for hours in this place. Like I got, you know, twice. How come I noticed you got like pie bowl, like 14? And is this... Those were numbers as I was collecting. It was clown one, clown two, clown three. Does clown that mean one. you have 14 in your collection? Or that means that, that was the 14th that one you 14th got? the 14th one. And okay. I could have sold prior ones. I sell every now and then a couple clowns. So what is this right here? That's a black pastel yellow belly head clown female. That is awesome. That is really nice. So how... So the argument is always 1,500 grams at least two to three years old for a female. However, there is some argument that 1,200 grams is good to go, and if they're 1,200 right. grams and they're building, it is what it is. What do you do? I do 1,300 grams. I, if they're 1,300 grams, I'll pair them. What if it's a year old and just a hammer of an eater? Um, if it's a year old, I may not. Usually, I try to wait 18 months at least. Okay. Um, but 18 months, 1,300 grams. If I pair her and she's still eating... Sometimes she'll get to that 16, 1700 grams. Gotcha, gotcha. What about the males? The males, I like to do 600 grams. 600 huh. grams, and I usually don't pair them their first winter. I wait till the second winter because I notice that their first winter, even though they'll lock, sometimes they just don't have that sperm. Well, you know, it's funny you say that because I have those two, uh, those two clowns that I've been breeding. Remember, I got them like six, seven months old with like 700 grams. Right. And then I have their Coral Glow Black Centric Mojave male. That's not much bigger than them. But he's locks like a savage just because he is a year older. Right. And they're, you know, he's only probably about 300 grams more. It was right. really interesting. So anything else you want to show off? Um, I think that's about it. I mean, it's just a bunch of clowns. Like, it's regular clowns, you know? You take it for granted, man. <laughs> I, I love that about some of these guys, man. You go to, like, Anthony's house. You go to Joe from Empire State Exotics house. Like, oh, yeah, this regular, like, a little clown I got over here. And it's like a, you know, 3,000 gram clown. And then you pull this, you pull this, pull up, this thing out right here. But... Absolutely phenomenal, but appreciate it, guys. Little rack tour, little facility tour with Anthony. Uh, now I guess we're gonna set up and pull some eggs, right? Yeah, awesome. All right, guys. So as always, listen. I greatly appreciate it. Be safe. Please remember, watch the six.